Welcome to Chris' VV journey, where I take you on a trip to VV, always as an adventurer, never as a financial advisor, so please invest with caution. Uh, today we have some news, there was an AMA, we talk about the upcoming Ultron drop that is happening in just a few hours, and um, yeah, also there is a giveaway that is going to happen from VV. Let's talk about it, okay? So we're in the browser view. Um, yeah, let's talk about the so first thing. That's the giveaway. Um, 12 days of VV. It will start on Monday, the 13th of December. Um, there will be a bunch of collectibles and even some physical tots, which in my opinion is the biggest gain because a physical tot would look so great in my collection. I already got the Nightwing. I already got the Greg Capullo Batman that is not yet on the app, but if they keep bringing out all those DC Direct collectibles, then we will see the Batman also. Interestingly enough, that's uh, that's that's the one I would have asked for the most. So maybe I'm lucky uh, and maybe you are lucky. If you are lucky, let me know. I would totally love to see you guys get some of that. Um, yeah, so the VV released the showroom version 2. If you updated your VV app, you should be able to get it. And there is actually two updates. So there is the new showroom. Here's a video about it. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't want to get a, a strike, so I'm not playing the video. Um, so there's some new features. Um, and also there's a new showroom that is just plain empty space, which is awesome. You can arrange your, your collectibles in that plain empty showroom and then even use the AR function. I think that is pretty great. Most importantly, don't delete your version one showroom. If you delete that one, then it's gone forever. So please don't, don't ever delete the version one showroom. Keep that it's an og thing <laughs> so that is pretty dope um they they um have all the, the the buttons that were there before moving collectibles and all that positioning collectibles um there should be a move all feature i don't know i don't have it in my app uh, maybe i need to wait for another update i have no idea but that is something that i didn't see or maybe it isn't released yet <clears throat> there's an undo and redo feature that is great that is awesome because there's a lot of uh, things you can do wrong also i didn't see that when i was playing with my new showroom yesterday oh that is just in the in the plain showroom without anything in it i have no idea need to check that out um yeah so if you haven't check out your new showroom it's pretty great the only thing i don't like about the no showroom is that we still don't have extra light i mean you can see that, but there's a big light box here, there's a light there, there's a light there, and then there's lightning in the background. This is what makes my video look good, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I try at least, okay? So uh, it would be awesome if we had like one or two light sources that we can edit in the showroom that is like, I think that would be the greatest thing we could have in the showroom and also in the AR function. That would enhance realism so much and it would also enhance the the representation of the characters so much because some of them with the with the standard light that we have now they're in the shadows they, they cast shadow on themselves and it doesn't look awesome that's why i would love to use the lights even showroom version 2 has actually 3d models of lights all around the room and they don't have light like they they don't produce light so I hope that comes uh, rather sooner than later. Um, I mean, they obviously they work on, on it. That, I mean, that, that I, I don't think that they are not working on it. I think they are still trying to find out how they can make that work um, when someone has a lot of collectibles without their phone crashing because adding more lights is always, always adding a feature that takes a lot of um, resources from the, from the processor. So I guess that's the tricky part about it, but I hope they, they are able to manage that pretty soon. There are apps that already do that. Um, yeah, waiting for that. That's really something I want to see. Also, Disney did uh, sh present an app where they use a global illumination feature, like the camera is analyzing the light uh, from what it sees and uses that lightning information for the AR collectibles the, the 3d models that would be the 
greatest thing so maybe they are working on that that is difficult to achieve honestly that's not an easy thing so um, maybe that's why it takes a little longer and they're working on that if that if they do wow that would be next level like if you use ar to present your 3d collectible and they use a global illumination technique that would be super awesome that would be the best thing ever so uh yeah the upcoming drop that will happen in a few hours so maybe you wake up early because you're in the pt time zone and you just want to watch this video real fast great um it's Voltron legendary defender so this is not the original anime ultron version from the 80s this is the 2016 netflix uh reboot that we had um it's going to be a blind box it will cost you 60 dollars we have a common that's a regular common uh 7888 editions then we have the defense mode uncommon 6888 editions um the rare is pretty great atlas ready 5888 editions and then of course there's the ultra rare that's the most wanted one 3888 edition and they are all um first appearances and they are all from dreamworks animation which is another license we haven't seen yet so this is the first dreamworks animation license dreamworks is also known for a lot of other animation stuff like um i guess madagascar and was ice age dreamworks i guess ice age was it too should have looked it up earlier so uh what is uh, valtron so if you don't know valtron it's an enemy show that aired in the 80s it's pretty much similar to um how was it called dragon not dragon balls um yeah i can't remember what was the name of the show Power Rangers. It was the show Power Rangers. So <laughs> needed to get that back together. So yeah, Power Rangers was similar done like this show. So that is basically taking two shows that are the, totally different from each other. So that, that's not the, the, the same storyline. That's two shows with different storylines. And they make one show out of that one for the, for the Western market. That is, I don't know. If, if you have never heard that before, that's crazy. But yeah, um... The Power Rangers show that you saw as a kid probably is a show that consists of two different shows that were just mixed and mashed together and create a whole new storyline. <laughs> how that works, it's it, it's pretty phenomenal that it works so well. But yeah, that's how the original Voltron show was done. Um, it was pretty successful. It wasn't successful here in Germany. It was really bad uh aired in a, in a bad way and way later it was 1995 until it hit the the tv stations here it was way sooner in the us and in other countries so that was a success and this new show was produced by netflix or produced by dreamworks and aired on netflix that was very successful it has great ratings on rotten tomato there was a little bit of backlash because of the lgbtq um stuff happening i mean there were there were some lgbtq characters obviously the community didn't thought they were good enough and one was killed off and that was obviously also not well um yeah the fans didn't look good on that one there were uh death threats against the creators of the show because of that and i don't know i, I mean that 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 whole whole issue is something else i don't want to talk about it on my channel um but that was problematic at least but overall, the show did great. It had almost, I guess it had eight seasons on Netflix between 2016 and 2018. So, I don't know. Overall, a big success. Like I said, on Rotten Tomatoes, great ratings. Um, there were the people, the team behind it was uh, also the team that did The Legend of Korra. Also very successful anime, while this is anime and 3D animation mixed up. So, I guess there's a spot. I don't know. I see that... The way it is released, I'm not sure if we can see the, the, the common or maybe even the uncommon above drop price. With 60 bucks drop price, I don't know if they will go down. Um, of course, if you make it a long time hodl, I'm pretty positive this will go above drop price. Once we get Asian translation in the app, we will have a lot more Asian customers. And yeah, I guess they will totally love this maybe maybe not maybe don't they don't like the the um 
maybe they're like more the original ones but i mean this is the netflix show that is kind of the original one so that works um yeah but in the short term i think we, we could see that the common goes below drop price and maybe even the uncommon i'm not sure so i'm not sure how how much i will go for it um i guess i will try i mean you, you know i mean if, if, even if it goes below drop price you're not missing out much so it's calculated risk i guess so much about that drop um then we had the twitter ama so we will go about what they said here i will give you my opinion on that one um yeah let's just start I, i'm i'm trying not to talk too much about everything just the one that, that like uh <laughs> vexed me the most so um they said they had a 20 to 30k plus new users on a daily basis i'm not sure what this is actually going to mean if they have 30k no users most of the comic drops have 30k edition sizes that would mean there's a whole edition size of users of the comic drops coming in daily it's not what it feels like it definitely feels like like we have a lot more people going for stuff like it has become really hard to get anything um last comic drop i didn't uh, we were with five people we tried for 28 minutes and we didn't get anything yeah so maybe that is uh true i don't know how many it would be interesting to get more realistic numbers 20 to 30k new users daily what does that mean how many of that is like a, a second account of somebody how many of those are actually active on a daily basis um i don't know how many of those is bot users i have no idea so they say they have about around 1.3 million active users per month two months ago it was just by 500,000. um interesting <clears throat> i don't know i i find it hard to to figure out what these numbers really mean showroom version 2 we were talking about it um so the Re ron english secret rare they said there's already there's still some um gold monies that haven't been um sent out to owners and it doesn't say here but i thought i i read something about the 3rd december that if you had um yeah i can't see it here if you were there at the 30, 3rd of december if you had the whole whole team together you should be getting something so something will happen by the end of next week so we will have to wait and see would be great to see these people get it i mean i don't get it i don't have much of those but i i think it would be fair if everyone who had to a fixed date all sets together that they would get it right uh security update about the bots it's the same thing as always they're working on it they like us to uh, to report if we know about bots but it's a cat and mouse game and yeah that most likely won't change at all account restrictions unfortunately it happens that the wrong accounts get flagged and uh they also said at one point they they uh brought in some new staff members to handle that so i guess good news i mean it's bad if it happens to someone that is flagged by accident but on the other hand they have to do something about the bots i guess yeah it just comes just comes with the territory uh immutable x uh, migration goes great um and there was also yeah yeah sh uh, migration phase two should be done before xmas so before xmas is uh, here we should have everything migrated in phase two that means every collectible is on a new blockchain the token swap in phase three should be happening in january so i guess yeah i think february march <laughs> it's more likely uh they say they are in beta, beta testing for the mtl update i don't know if i'm going to believe that i i like nobody heard about anyone anywhere who actually is in the beta testing so i don't know how, how is that possible if someone were able to do anything why didn't anyone say about say anything about it I mean, it's the internet right um then there's the master collector program updates so obviously they changed the the common and uncommons from the comics so now you don't get any point deduction if you have multiples which totally shoots down what i laughed about the version one the version one of the mcpu program said a comment gives you one point and if you get multiple comments you get less points and i felt that was kind of fair like it was in a sense for collectors if you were collecting and like me like i'm someone who says okay i want like almost every common at least don't matter about the other other rarities um 
and not that I don't care about the other rarities, but even if I got the secret rare, I would still buy the, the common, right? Because the common is the most interesting one, kind of for a collector. Um, but I don't get much points. I just get a quarter of a point for it while someone who stacks them. And I don't see how a collector would stack. I, I, I just don't see it. Who is actually a collector, like really collecting stuff because he loves it? Who's buying a hundred of it? That's investing. That's not collecting. But that's what they are. Uh, that's what a benefit is now if you're an investor, not a collector for the MCP. Great. Like that's that's the opposite of what I liked about MCP one. So they totally shot that down. Awesome. Also the MCP Pro that you get if you have a special tier or and if you pay for it, um, got some new features. So you get a special number of drop raffle tickets per month. Okay, I can understand that. You can rent out collectibles exclusively. Okay, I can understand that. Uh, and you get extended AR features. I don't understand that at all. Why don't you give the creative community a tool at hand so they can be creative? Why have you? Why? Why is there a necessity to just benefit the the, the big pocket collectors with that? Like, I don't know. Like, where's the? Do do they care about people that are not? I don't know, rich or whatever. I don't know. So Omi Utility Program, that's that's the one that vexed me the most. Integrating more community feedback, additional tiers may be added to the staking program. Okay, I understand that. Easier access to use Omi in the market with less tier restrictions. Awesome. Getting better chances at ultra rare or secret rare for people staking. What the like that's that that sentence, it actually changes how I will behave on the market and it changes it a lot. I, I no longer feel like this is a place where a collector like I am, like someone who loves the stuff and collects it as far as my financial possibilities let me do it. Um, now I just have to say, okay, with that, I don't think there will be a lot of people like me coming into the app. This is what I thought at first. I, at first, I thought that with time, there's a lot of collectors like me, um, some with a little bit more money, some with less money, but at least these collectors that love the stuff will enter the app. With that, I don't see that happening. Like I'm, I'm not fudding, right? Okay, I'm not saying it's bad. Like VV is still great, and of course there's the VV verse coming. There's a lot of great things, but I'm just I don't think I will have a lot, a lot of like-minded people in this app because at this point, like imagine you 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 you're getting VV, right? You're getting into VV in a month from now, maybe in two months. So, and you see all that stuff and you think, wow, that's great. Oh, there's collecting stuff. Great. And there's drops. So these drops give me a possibility to get something I wouldn't be able to buy on the aftermarket, right? So you see that and then you hear, oh, okay, someone can buy raffle tickets. Okay, so the ones with much points have a better chance. Okay. Um, then people can stack Omi. And there's people that, that will stack tier three, like 10K dollars in Omi. They get a better chance for ultra rare and secret rare. These are the ones everyone hopes for to get in a drop so they can complete sets. Otherwise, they may be not able to complete a set. Um, so you hear all that, that your changes diminish with because you don't have all this money to put into. Um, I don't see people staying. If, if I would see that like in two months from now and this is actually happening, I would see that. I wouldn't go into this app. I would say, okay, you know what? Keep that. I will go on eBay and try to get this 3D character Batman on eBay in real life. It's cheaper and it, it, I don't feel like a second class citizen doing it. So that's that's really, that one vexes me the most. Nobody talks about it. So obviously it's just me that is mad about it. But that's what I always say. I don't think there's a lot of collectors in there. And maybe we won't see them there with, with that happening. I don't know. I have no idea. But it really, nah, I don't like this point. But that's all with this. That's the last one that's really getting on my nerves. So everything now is just awesome. So the web platform is coming along very well. We give you a preview sometime in January. Um, that is great. Web platform, awesome. I believe it will bring in more bots, but yeah, we will have to see. Um, there will also be the waiting room drop system coming soon. Um, as far as I heard that in the AMA, they were talking about um, have like a few minutes before that you enter a queue and people in that queue get picked by random. Um, yeah, let's hope that is a good idea. I mean, the drop, I, I totally love if they change the drop system. I mean, I'm not 
unlucky with the drop system right now. I guess I, I got quite a lot of uh, good drops. But um, yeah, changing it up, I, I think it's a good idea. I, I just hope this is this is not a new window for even more bots, but we will see. Um, drop times, they're thinking about changing the drop times so that people in other countries have a better shot. Um, yeah, for me here in Germany, the drop time is perfect, like literally perfect, but I uh, totally get it that they try to make it more, more easier for other places too. Um, so the minting dates on the on the immutable X chain. So if you look at the change chain uh, itself, there will be different mint dates on the on the NFTs. But if you look into the app, there's the original mint date. So make out of that what you will. I'm I'm going to interested to see what the community makes out of it. Um, there's also a front-facing camera feature in AR coming to VV, where you will be able to be in front of the 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 nft that is great can't wait for that one and they will offer additional data for the burned collectibles like the captain america one so that you have a better overview about the numbers that are still circulating and such great um, fa designation on vv does it count only for vv or everywhere um, it overall it's it, it's counting for vv they try to to talk with their licenses to make sure that they have all available data but i think it makes sense that it at first is just for vv um because it's just too complicated to to how, how are they supposed to make it always sure that it is the first one like the licensor knows how are they going to know so and that's everything about that uh yeah that's everything we have so what do you guys think about the ama stuff and will you be doing the Voltron drop. I mean, if you do, let me know. And if you see this video, quite probably it's after the drop. So let me know what did you get in the drop? Um, how much did you participate? And do you think I'm fudding about the uh, MCP and OUP stuff? I just I just don't like it. And I, I don't like it for the same reasons I didn't like the stuff before. I don't feel like it brings in people like me. That's the thing, like the one who usually is more for collecting. And at this point, like I said, I, I think I'm at a point where I say, okay, if I don't think it's a good investment, I won't do it. Um, which is sad because at, for now I did buy quite a lot of stuff, not as investment, but rather to have it because it's cool. Coolness is now gone out of the window. So yeah, so much about that. Let me know what you think. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.